living in Liberia, what it's like in this situation is Arshel Bernard, a resident of the city of Monrovia. Uh, Arshel, if we could first talk about what they're calling the Ebola handshake. Uh, apparently it's where you don't shake a hand, but rather you raise your hand so that you're not touching another, another person. Have, have you seen that happening there? Absolutely. We have so many forms of the Ebola handshake right now, just because nobody wants to contaminate anybody else. Um, it's you just, hi, Ebola, hi, <laughs> from a distance. I, I guess a little levity and a very uh, bad situation there. I mean, how are people dealing with it? Uh, what, what's, the, what's the mood? What's, what's the feeling there? I know that many businesses, including your own, uh, have been uh, closed down for, for present. Absolutely. Um, Liberia has become a little more boring. All that we can find to talk about is Ebola because it's such a serious situation that we haven't really, we've never had to experience. Um, I know for me, I've had to shut my shop down just because people weren't shopping. Uh, the president of Liberia closed the government and schools for the next 30 days just so that we can kind of get a hold on what's going on. And we don't, we don't want to contaminate people. We don't want to spread it. We just really want to prevent it. And we really don't know quite how. So, Arshel, so that's the situation in Monrovia, but what's it like getting out outside of the city, you know, to those smaller communities where maybe people don't know about Ebola? And that, I'll bet that's important when it comes to containment. Absolutely. The symptoms of Ebola present themselves like many of the diseases that we get commonly, like malaria or typhoid. So as soon as somebody sees a fever, they're going to assume it's one of those and not automatically think, let me stay away from this person who might have Ebola. So they, we're really going to be able to get a hold on it when we have the government officials or the NGO workers able to communicate to people, look, this is not what you're used to. And you're going to have to take necessary precautions in order not to spread. Another question for you, just trying to understand what the president's response there has been to residents in Liberia. What, what, what have you heard? Well, President Sirleaf gave a statement saying that only the essential staff for the government offices will be around. And everybody should have a hand washing station uh, at, outside of every business. And so, like, literally, it's one part chlorine or bleach, 10 parts water. You walk around now, everybody smells like bleach. Um, President Karoma in Sierra Leone talked about the survivors, and that's something that we needed to hear as well, because it's not something that will necessarily kill you. If you seek treatment early, if you know the signs, then there's a very good, there's a good chance of survival, about a 40 to 60 percent chance of survival, and that's better than nothing at all. Arshel Bernard joining us live from Monrovia. Arshel, we appreciate the insight on, on what's happening there.